And they've failed now uh, on six two-point conversion tries this season. Mm -hmm. Tied with the Vikings for most in the NFL. They're two for eight overall. But they're the first team to fail twice in the fourth quarter going for it to try yeah. to win a game. Yep. I mean... Really is that just the aggressive thinking, or is there deeper? Is, like, is that a Ravens thing, or is there something deeper to this that Harbaugh is just not telling us of why he's not wanting to go to overtime in these games? Yeah, have you seen their defense? Yes. Like, do you recognize any of the names on their defense? I mean, you talk about the injury bug. And listen, first of all, let me let me let me stand up and, and give a standing ovation for the effort because this is a true example about when you establish a culture, it doesn't matter what names are on the back of the jersey. It matters what name is on the front of and the Tyler jersey. Tyler Huntley started and, and, a quarterback and was solid. I'm, I'm not even going there. I'm going to the fact that you're out Marcus Peters, that you're out uh, that you're out, you know, Marlon Humphreys. Jimmy and, Smith. Yeah, Jimmy Smith. They shouldn't even be in this game. I mean, this is this is laughable that they're even able to compete with the guy. Listen, you see how I many communicate you see how many communication issues that they had with these guys? Like these guys are guys on practice squad guys that wouldn't even be on wouldn't even dress half the time. Why do you go for it? Because you know that if you get into a, a ten more minutes, you don't have the soldiers. You don't have the you don't have the bodies to compete. Well, that's what he said the last time around, two weeks ago, when they also went for it there. Listen, now, I but gotta, I got to stop y'all because they had a damn choice. Because the touchdown they scored before the last one, they had a choice. They could have went for two then. If you're thinking you're going to get the football and score again. And there was a higher not, percentage there. Exactly. Yep. Why not go for two at that point? Mm -hmm. And then you know when you score that last touchdown, you know exactly what you have there to do. There it is right now on ESPN2. No, this, no, this, this is for the game, baby. Like, this is for the win. You know what I mean? Like, it, it came down to this. It right. came down to, hey, we score with, like, you talk about marching down, no time on the clock. You know, clock going down, 42 seconds left. You had an opportunity. I always, I knew Huntley's. I thought he scored too early. But, but I like, I want my chances in OT though. No, 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 no. I want my chances in OT. Well, if they win the toss, they win the toss. I understand that. But we can, uh, we can evenly say if the Ravens win the toss, they had the momentum. If Listen, it would have went, they, they had went the right momentum. The Listen, did, did you see that? Did you see that D line from Green Bay starting to get to them? Like, and Huntley doing these off-schedule plays, it's the law of dim diminishing returns. At some point, the kid's going to make a mistake. I mean, you got to say, listen, this is all or nothing right now. Like, listen, we can't – we, we got to win now. If he can put up – if he can get close to 2,000, I mean, because Aaron Rodgers is good, man, but – See, my thing is that if, if, if A-Rod leads them to the number one seed, then I think it's going to be him. Now, with, with Jonathan Taylor, that's not a bad call, but I ask you this. If Derrick Henry doesn't get hurt, are we even talking about Jonathan Taylor? We, we thought, not, but he right we behind thought him. that a couple. Of, remember, right before he got hurt, we were thinking, "Is this guy the MVP? Look at him; he's the dominant, most dominant offensive player in the game." And I'm not—I yeah. don't want to take anything away from Jonathan Taylor I, because I think he's a phenomenal back. Yeah. He can do it receiving the football and, and rushing the football line too. They, yeah, offensive see, but, line see, but is, I thought, is phenomenal. But I thought Henry was going to run out of gas and get hurt eventually. Anyway, I mean, you he said, still led the league in carries. Yeah, like, and he was out for a month. Yeah. And he still led the league in carries. They were putting all their eggs in that basket. And eventually, when you're that big, you eventually break down. We see it happen with all the best on whether you want to talk about Eddie George. Well, Brandon Jacobs was always on the pitch count. But, like, you talk about the overusage. You know, we've never seen a guy dominate and have this many carries for three straight years. Jonathan Taylor, I think, was sharing, you know, before, before Mack was getting some carries, Hines were getting yep. carries. And now, like, it's you, you want to make sure that your running back is strong going into the postseason because as everybody else breaks down, it looks like he's getting stronger. I mean, listen, that home run hitting him, Billy, when he came, when he broke through the line. he's fast. He looked at, at, at J.C. <laughs> Jackson. He was striding. And J.C. Jackson's like, all right, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to catch you. He's like, man, all right, man, I'll let you, dog. Watch out. He's like, really, really, we're we going to do this. Listen, you're going to make me, you gonna make me go to fifth gear. <laughs> he does yoga, man. Which well, is the very pack, beneficial out there. I mean, I think I think we have to give some real consideration. And Debo, well, Debo Samuels as well, man. Like what he's doing out there. I think a the lot of they use him under, too. underrated. How yeah, very that's creative. West Coast bias. Underrated. West yep. Coast bias going on out there. Yeah, well, you but, know, but too. I think right now top three is okay. in, in no particular order: uh, Tom Brady, okay, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Jonathan Taylor. Mm -hmm. Brady yeah. just disqualified himself with that performance. That was, that was horrible, right? Because Ooh. he has two of everything. And it's about making sure that you have the great moments. Well, he, he had lost. Opportunity to have, he, but he also lost I don't a lot care. of guys okay. he relies on really? early in really? the game. Listen, everybody in the league has done that. Everybody in the league has lost everybody. Lamar Jackson lost everybody, But, right? but you can't say he's Kyle just out of it because of one game, though. That, but listen, when you come down to the final games, it's about what you do on the big stage because we know the race is close. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.